We are here tonight to try some of the best foods that we can find here in the Geelong night market. And I think this is one of the best night markets in Taiwan in terms of it being super, super traditional and probably maybe even one of the first long street open air night markets on the island. So come with me, let's go inside. Let's see if we can find five excellent foods here in Geelong. Let's go. First up on the list, this one is called Ying Yang Semiji. Roughly translated means nutritional sandwich. Apparently this is extremely famous here in Geelong Market. I can smell the mayonnaise. I think there's a tea egg in here, a couple of tomatoes, and some ham. So let me let me take a nice bite here. That's actually so good. This is literally crisp central station. There was a huge piece of ham in there and then I can smell that tomato. I would say it's a Taiwanese BLT. If they just replaced the, the roast ham with a couple of strips of bacon, this would be the perfect BLT. So actually I heard there was a, a very famous Kong Rou Fan restaurant, but right beside it, was something that is kind of like Lu Rou Fan or Rose Al Fan, but actually it's Yang Rou. You know me, I love Rose Al Fan. I have never seen a Yang Rou Fan version of that. So this is lamb braised rice. The Lao Ban, they are so nice. And she was letting me know that they had an idea to make a unique restaurant because they said everyone was using pork. After a while, they said, how can we stand out here in Geelong? And I said, what if instead of using pork, or even beef or chicken. What if we use lamb? I think I can smell cinnamon and spices and herbs. I need to hurry up a little bit because there are people waiting in line. Let me see. It's that delicious lamb flavor. I don't know where to find this in Kaohsiung. It's so tasty. It's honestly so tasty. Mm. So I guess number three, we're in Geelong, which is a port city in Taiwan, northeast coast. So we can't come to Geelong without trying some kind of seafood. So we've actually got the squid here. It looks like a really popular squid and seafood stall here in Geelong. Let's try it out. They put sesame seeds and then whatever hot sauce on top. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, that is so good. Mm. And just spicy enough. Actually quite spicy. A lot of the time squid can be a little bit chewy, but this one is so, so fresh. You bite down and it just kind of melts in your mouth and the flavor is so good. I love that texture. Seafood in Geelong Night Market, so, so good. You can see how fresh that is just steaming in the wind there. Oh yeah, boom. And this one, I assume is probably some kind of crab. Wow, that's really good. I've seen these in every night market I've ever been to. I've never bought one. Now I regret everything. This is this is so good. Wow. So according to the list that we found, this is another one of the most famous places here at the Geelong Night Market. So, you know, now that COVID is over, now that everybody's traveling again, I think it's safe to say that we can kind of start traveling around Taiwan again. This place showed up on the list multiple times. I believe it's some kind of deep fried pork roll. The Lao Ban is super friendly. Let's go try this one. Oh man, I did not expect that at all. I thought it was gonna be super crispy. It's actually super soft. It's like a deep fried pork onion roll. That's so good, actually. Oh, hmm. I've never had anything like that before. And then it's served in this red sauce, I guess, probably a sweet red sauce. I thought it was gonna be crispy, crunchy, but it's soft and sweet. This is the first time I can say in a long time, I've never had anything like that before. I really like that. I think this is the thing I like most so far tonight. That's really good. Mm. And we got a bonus turnip soup. That's the beauty of this kind of soup. It's just so simple. It's basically just water, ginger, green onions, and meatball, 
and turnip. They're not trying to be fancy. And that's the best part about it. So simple. I wish love was this simple. <laughs> So this is actually one of my favorite stories about Geelong. I heard this story a long time ago, maybe 50 years ago. There used to be a very rich man who lived by the harbor, which is where we are right here. And he actually was rich enough that he had two wives, which back in the day was quite common in Taiwan. And all the time the two wives would bicker and they would fight and they hated each other and it caused a lot of problems for everyone involved. So what he did was he actually bought two shops right beside each other and he said, all right, you both are gonna start a business together. And so they each took one side and they both started selling pineapple cakes, which back in the day were kind of a luxury item here in Taiwan. And apparently they eventually got to know each other. They started working together and they created one of the most successful pineapple cake shops in all of Northern Taiwan. And everyone came here and they said how good these pineapple cakes were. So I, I don't know what that says about the human condition. All I know is that 50 years later, I can still come here and get some of the best pineapple cakes in Taiwan. Mm. Great. So here we are, the last stop of the night. We are at a dessert place and we have two flavors. This one is green mango and this one is peanut with speckled kidney bean. So I think they both look quite interesting. Yeah, they smell really, really good. Apparently this is one of the most famous shops here at the Geelong Night Market. Thank you guys for watching tonight. We're gonna try these out one by one, let's go. All right, green mango. Mm. The green mango kind of reminds me of maraschino cherries. And this one is the peanut with speckled kidney beans. I like that one. This one is really good. This is, this is the clear winner, I think. Wow. It's the age old tradition in Taiwan that use beans as a dessert. Anyway, the peanut butter kidney bean kind of uh, sorbet, really, really good. Mm. Well, thank you everybody for watching tonight. I think we had a great adventure here in Geelong. A little bit unexpected, you know, you just, sometimes you come to a night market in a strange city that you're not used to and you end up having a great time. So this is the last item of food that we will have tonight. This is something that I really love. I usually don't eat it because it hurts my teeth because it's literally strawberries dipped in like liquid sugar. But it is winter time and winter time is strawberry season. So let's do it. Yeah, it's so good. And this is tomato and I think like prunes or plums, right? <laughs> Not my favorite. This one's totally awesome. I will stick with the strawberries. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know of all the foods that I tried in the night market tonight. Which ones would you go for? Have you been in the Geelong Night Market? So I think we had some really unique food here. Stuff that I just can't find in Gaosham. And we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.